Thinking like an appraiser, take one. <laughs> When I'm working with sellers to price their home, getting the price per square foot is a great starting point, but it's super important to think like an appraiser. I say this because an appraiser takes in the valuation of land, upgrades, how old your systems are, and the price per square foot in most neighborhoods is going to vary. The larger the home, the lower the price per square foot. The smaller the home, the larger price per square foot. So as a seller, you are emotionally attached to your home. You think your home is the best home on the street, but it's super important to look at the data and look at the numbers and think like an appraiser, meaning assign actual valuations and adjustments to your home based on what else is selling in the neighborhood. When I'm typically working with sellers, I always like to say when we get your home on the market, we want to have perceived value. Buyers are super savvy. The data is out there. It is on the internet. It is everywhere. As far as what people are willing to pay, they typically know. So when you're pricing your home, you want to price aggressively and you want to showcase all the things that your home is featuring. Sometimes I talk to sellers and we're not listing for six weeks or nine weeks or even a few months and sometimes the next year. So what we do is we typically track the market, we watch the market, we see what things are selling for. But honestly, pricing doesn't come in until a few days before we list the property. We want to pay attention to the active properties and see the activity that's happening in the market as well as what's about to close and what's pending. So I'm typically calling other agents, asking how feedback and showings were, did they get multiple offers? And this is what helps us determine where to list your property when we're hitting the market. If you have questions about what your home is worth, I'm always happy to chat. <laughs>